A key element of the UK Spines mission is to support development of drugs which target biological drivers of aging. Toward this goal, the UK Spines Bridge program has funded the project Visualizing Protein Misfolding in Brain Aging. The principal investigator is Professor Sonia Gandhi, group leader in the Neurodegeneration Biology Lab at the Francis Crick Institute. During age-associated disease, a protein which is usually monomeric enters a conformational state that allows it to self-associate into oligomers and fibrils which eventually form large deposits seen in the human brain. Though these large deposits may be the major pathological hallmark in age-associated neurological disease, data indicates that the earlier soluble oligomers are the most toxic in cells. Early intervention in protein misfolding relies on detection at this earlier stage, but conventional biochemical methods lack sufficient sensitivity. The images from a 2018 Federation of European Biochemical Societies article and depicts oligomers within the cascade of events which iteratively reinforce neurodegenerative pathology. A marker that can identify the tipping point at which protein aggregation transitions from aging to disease prior to manifestation of disease symptoms would support early intervention, potentially enabling delay of disease onset. With the advent of super-resolution microscopy, which can study endogenous proteins at the nanoscale, and single-molecule techniques, which can detect individual molecules one by one and are able to identify the rarest of species, technologies are now available to visualize protein misfolding in human biofluids. This research applies these innovative technologies to identify oligomer-based biomarkers of aging and to elucidate the proteostasis network in the brain, also, this study aims to establish and validate novel in vitro models of aging. Three lines of interrogation will be followed in this research. First, apply new and highly sensitive technologies to understand age-related decline of protein homeostasis, the key aggregate that causes neuronal death in age-related diseases, the oligomer, will be characterized using super-resolution and single-molecule techniques. These same techniques will enable determination as to whether the toxic intermediate species of alpha-synuclein aggregation is a biomarker for impaired proteostasis and thus aging, pathological aging, and disease. Second, test the latest aging paradigms to determine whether it is possible to utilize aged iPSC-derived neurons as a tractable model to study protein homeostasis and understand how aging is a risk factor for proteinopathies. Models will be validated by directly comparing them with data from human post-mortem brain and misfolded protein species in models of aging and the G51D mutation will be visualized to fully describe protein aggregation. The third line of inquiry will involve capturing the proteostasis network in brain and iPSC cells in the presence of oligomer formation to identify transcriptomic changes and highlight key genes and proteins which may be targeted to modulate protein homeostasis in aging and disease. All three lines of inquiry have potential for translational impact. A biomarker of impaired proteostasis may be surfaced. A new model of aging may accelerate discovery of interventions and a deeper understanding of the proteostasis network may reveal new avenues for therapeutic opportunities and also help to streamline the search among existing gene and protein candidate targets. Professor Gandhi's existing collaborations with drug discovery institutes and with industry partners will support early identification of translational opportunities. Close collaboration with biophysicists and physical chemists at the University of Cambridge and University of Edinburgh enabled development of methods to identify and visualize the crucial biomarker of protein aggregation, the oligomer, for the first time. A new understanding of protein misfolding during aging and disease will be facilitated by bringing together these technical advances with capabilities in Professor Gandhi's lab. These will benefit the research community broadly, as will the transcriptomic data, which will be made open source and freely available, together with manuscripts, which will be open access. Drugs designed to mitigate aging would be protective against multiple morbidities via a single intervention. Our current understanding of biological mechanisms driving aging is incomplete. Professor Gandhi offers her thoughts on the question, how will this project contribute to a better understanding of the biological mechanisms of aging? This project studies a fundamental ageing process, and that is the decline in protein quality control. So as we age, the ability to control the way in which proteins are synthesised or made, the way that they are assembled and then maintained in their correctly folded positions, 
and then cleared or degraded can change. And as a result of this change or decline in proteostasis, ageing is therefore the greatest risk factor for perhaps 50 protein deposition diseases that we call proteinopathies. Now proteinopathies particularly affect the ageing brain, where accumulation of protein aggregates inside or outside brain cells can lead to dysfunction of neurons and neuronal death, collectively leading to a group of incurable and devastating conditions called the neurodegenerative diseases. So this project is really trying to understand whether markers of abnormal proteostasis or protein quality control are also markers of pathological ageing. And furthermore, is the decline in the proteostasis that happens in ageing and age-related diseases potentially revealing a common therapeutic target that can be used for all age-related proteinopathies? Drug discovery targeting the biological drivers of aging is a multi-stakeholder effort aided by efficient knowledge and resource exchange. Professor Gandhi offers her thoughts on the question, what additional forms of knowledge exchange would be broadly useful to the nascent community developing drugs to mitigate biological aging? This project focuses on one of the biological drivers of aging and age-related diseases, and that is the decline in proteostasis or protein quality control. But we hope that the advances made in this project will have a much wider impact on the multiple stakeholders involved in ageing research and researchers within the community. We are using a number of new biophysics-inspired imaging approaches to study complex biological systems to generate a new hallmark of ageing, the protein aggregate. And we hope that those technological advances may be used more widely across the community. We are also generating transcriptomic analyses, providing network analyses of proteostasis in aged brain tissue. And we believe that this may identify key regulators of proteostasis and perhaps also key regulators of aging that will be of interest as targets to the wider community. And finally, we are asking the question of how to improve cellular models of human aging by testing different aging paradigms in the dish and performing transcriptomic analyses. And we hope that the resources that we will generate with these newer, improved cellular models of aging will also be of use to the wider community.